Good morning, YouTube. So it is Saturday around 10, I think, at this point. I just roll out of bed, put a little bit of makeup on to hide the dark circles. Got me some Starbucks. Um, I usually get a venti iced coffee with light heavy cream, and this one does, but they went super light on the cream, so that sucks. But coffee's coffee. But I would thought I would come in here and fill my two month keto update. Um, it feels like it's been way longer than two months, but also I'm again struggling and trying to remind myself that it's only been two months and there's no rush or pressure to be a certain way. Um, this morning I weighed in at 218.2. I'll show it right here. Um, so that's I'm bad at math. It's like over 20 pounds loss and two months of keto. I don't even know what the day is. I think it's the 12th. It's the 13th. So it's the 13th. So it's been, I started May 11th. So it's been a little, like a hair over two months. So very exciting. Um, it's going so smoothly. This is what I remember loving about keto last time. I just felt so effortless. Um, the first time that I ever really lost weight was back when I was like young, I think maybe 20, 21. And I just went hard with like working out, cooking all my meals. Like I went hard, like my life was losing weight. Um, and that was it. And with keto, it just feels so effortlessly. Like I, it feels like food does not control me. I, I eat when I'm hungry. Uh, I still enjoy what I eat. I think about food, but it's not like I'm just working out right now. It's like not my season to work out. Uh, or like to lose weight. It's just kind of happening. It is so, so nice. Um, so yeah, it's been going really good. I did want to mention that I did try the um, butter and beef fast for four days and my weight got pretty low. I was at 224 um, when I started that and it went down to 218. Um, but then, so I was really interested. I was actually filming it and I really wanted to see if like how much the weight would go up, but I actually got my period. So it was just all over the place and it was high. Like it was like the 223, 224, um, the last couple of days. And I just, I just finally got back to 218. So that was kind of like a failed result because when I'm on my period, I gain weight or I, I show a higher weight of my scale. So I'm really interested to do it in about a month or so. I was very careful because I do have a bad history of having like an unhealthy relationship with food and trying to fast. It's just not something I want to get back into. But I will say that fasting, the, that be it's not even fasting, it's just a beef and butter fast. I did it a little bit differently. I did it uh, maybe wrong, but I did one meal a day and then I would just eat one meal of beef and butter. I didn't measure it out. I just ate way too much beef, way too much butter, and I was losing weight, and that was it. So next time I'm gonna try to definitely be more structured when I do it, start to film it again. Um, but what it did teach me was that I don't have to eat. Like I was finding, I don't know if I mentioned in the last vlog or not, but I was finding that I didn't like eating at work. It just made me tired and sometimes too full and I just felt uncomfortable. And even though I'm still hungry at work, that's okay. <laughs> like, I feel like you don't have to always eat whenever your body tells you to. Like, I'll be okay. I will get home whenever I know I'll get home and I'll eat that. And it's not like food is scarce. Um, but I always feel like if you are hungry, then it's scary and you're starving yourself. But I was eating. I just like waited till I got home <laughs> and it's okay. It's like, I feel like I've been myself and a lot of people in this world have been like kind of trained to believe that if you're hungry you eat where you know back in the day that wasn't really a thing you know you just because you're hungry doesn't mean you need to eat but it's so easy to do that now so i don't know it's a little rant but so i have been as much as possible not eating at work so i go to work at seven in the morning till four um and then i was working out still which is fine i felt a little, little bit i hit it but nothing too bad and I was getting, I was eating around six or seven and then eating and then going to sleep, <laughs> which is really bad, boring life, but that's what I did before anyways. It's not like, oh, like I'm so weak on keto. Like that's the way I've been my entire life. But I was just been tired <laughs> all the time. So 
yeah and it's actually stuck i like that eating schedule for me but like if i'm hungry like if i'm like i just want to eat like i'm starving then i'll eat like i ate on thursday i think yeah like on thursday i went and got sausage and at a barbecue place and i ate that with pickles and honestly i felt like garbage <laughs> doing that but i ate so i mean i'm i'm just kind of really happy right now with doing one meal a day um and again if i feel like breaking the fast earlier then i will do it but i really like the beef and butter fast just taught me that i can not eat like for hours and i'll be okay like i'm i'll be okay i'm still gonna get all my calories that i need i don't have to eat right away because my stomach grumbles like i it, it can wait and now i'll be oh just the food does as much and i don't know it's just so nice like i really like it and again if it changes then i'll change it like i watch a video that said that it's not good for women to just have one meal a day like it's not good for the hormones blah blah, blah. like whatever like if it stops making me feel good then i'll stop but for right now it's working amazing um what else oh so i stopped working out and it's kind of my fault kind of not so my gym actually closed for freaking renovations um early july um the 8th and now it's gonna be out till the late, late late july so i had the gym at my work so i could do that literally i mean it's a small one but you can i could work out if i wanted to i'm sure or I, guess I was going to sign up for another gym, but neither of those things have happened. But I'm just going to give myself slack. I, again, I really want to work out. I like the idea of working out. Again, I like, I think it's good for my body, but I'm not going to stress out about it. I mean, when I'm ready, I'm ready. But if I don't work out for a couple of weeks, as soon as the gym opens back up, I'm going to jump right back into my routine because it's just nice. I like it. And it, I mean, it's a good use of my days, <laughs> basically. Um, so, yeah. I not working out right now, but it's kind of my again, kind of not my fault. So, um, other than that, my clothes aren't really fitting. It's kind of it's funny because I don't really notice a huge difference in the way that I look, but then I do. Like I feel like my face is slimmer. I don't know if you can tell. I still took a, have a pretty chubby face, and I have a huge pimple right here for some reason. Um. But I really feel like I don't see that much of a difference, but then I do. Like, I feel like my shape isn't changing. I'm just shrinking. And I'm going to put some before and afters right here. cringy to do that but i'm in this for the long haul so if you know me and you'd see that and you're like yikes then whatever i don't care it's gonna come off and it's just my body like i know i made it look it is what it is i exist <laughs> sorry um but my like all of my work pants i have to get rid of i'm gonna insert some clips right here <laughs> because maybe eventually like the ones that are okay right now won't be okay in a couple of weeks so it's kind of exciting but it's kind of sad again because all of my clothes look kind of baggy and not cute which again I don't notice a huge difference even at 20 pounds is a lot I don't really feel like I can be like somebody's like oh my god you look so different like I don't look so different um but it's still something that I'm like that's not measuring my success because my clothes literally did not fit me anymore they look bad um so <laughs> It's kind of interesting, but 
yeah, I'm excited to keep going. I am now putting, I'm kind of just being very relaxed. I've finally been able to like get off of the carbs. I don't know if you, if you watched my last video, you noticed that like when I, in the beginning, I was still like, if I ate a hash from my breakfast, I was still eating so many tortilla wraps, like probably like four a day, which isn't bad. They're three carbs, nine carbs each, but still like, it's just, I was being very dependent on it. And now I don't really feel like I need them. Like, I can eat carbs, I can not eat carbs, I don't really care. <laughs> like, it's not like I'm like, I need to have bread. Like, it's just like, if it's there, it's cool. If not, like, I don't really need it. And I know I don't need it. So it's just, it's so nice. It's so nice to feel like I don't have food controlling me and like literally ruining my life. <sighs> Anyways, it's already been 10 minutes, so I'm gonna go. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you enjoy this. Um, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna be losing weight and I'm gonna become fit and it's not gonna be this like super like keto fitness like you know how to book and follow my eating blah 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 like I am doing this so effing chill that if it works for me it can work for you. Like I am the laziest person in the world with my eating. I don't even know. I can't even tell you what I ate yesterday. Like I mean, I'm sure I could think about it but I, I don't care. I don't think about it ahead of time. I'm doing it so relaxed and that's what I want for ideally for my lifestyle and also if again if I can do it so lazily then you can do it <laughs> like I am not following ebooks tracking on an app and you know, no I'm not doing any of that so I'm, I would love for me to be an example that it doesn't have to be hard it doesn't have to be so hard and like I'm just exhausted I've I've fought with my body and my weight all of my life since I was a child and I'm just tired of it I'm tired of fighting I'm tired of fighting I just want things to be easy and crazily enough I'm a skeptic and things being too good that they just either sound too good it's probably not true but I think keto is that so we'll see I guess um I am moving into my own place next month um I'm gonna live in my own apartment by myself so that's gonna be interesting but so exciting oh my gosh so exciting so i'm gonna have a two bedroom so i'm gonna make one an office so you'll hopefully be seeing that next time or my three month update oh my gosh <laughs> anyways i'm gonna go i hope you're doing okay i hope you're doing okay Bye. <laughs> Thank you.